Hi there, my name is Mandy Irons and I'm Head of Wellbeing Services for St Barnabas Hospice. And as part of Dying Matters Week, I'd like to tell you a little bit more about the support that we're able to provide from the Wellbeing Service. Our wish in hospice care is that everybody facing the end of their life is in a good place to die. And that's not just physically, although that's very important, but also that people are emotionally and spiritually prepared that they've had time to have the all important conversations with friends and family, their wishes um, and needs are known, and that they also know that our care will extend into bereavement if required for those that are left behind. So how do we do that? We have a whole range of services available from our welfare and benefits team who provide expert advice and guidance from um, our welfare advisors right across the county. You'll be hearing a bit more from Chloe this week about the care they're able to offer. The financial burden often of palliative um, illness is not well recognised and causes great deals of distress to people. Our wish is to alleviate as much of that distress as we possibly can. Our spiritual care team uh, look after patients in the inpatient units at Lincoln and Grantham um, and also provide community support via our clinical teams and spiritual care ch champions to family, to patients, um, thinking about their spiritual needs at the end of life. And they don't have to be religious or faith-based needs. We welcome everyone, all faiths and none. Our counselling and emotional support services provide care for patients and their families. We can offer one-to-one -one support. Um, we can offer emotional support. We can offer the skills of qualified counsellors and counsellors in training to help people navigate the very difficult psychological and emotional impact of palliative illness and find peace and acceptance at the end of their life. Our bereavement support services uh, continue for everybody who's bereaved in Lincolnshire, whether or not you've used hospice um, services previously or not. And that ranges from a virtual drop-in group, um, our bereavement support line, um, is very active and can offer immediate support and also signposting into our services. And our counsellors and emotional support volunteers are there to offer their expertise, um, a confidential space and a listening ear to help you navigate the difficulties of bereavement. So from the point of your palliative diagnosis, when we look after your um, financial, your social, your family, your spiritual, your emotional needs, the wellbeing service is working hard with our clinical colleagues to make sure that you're in a good place to die.